Tuesdays at 2 here at Oglethorpe University Museum of Art. My name is John Tilford. I am the Curator of Collections here at Oglethorpe's Museum. And as we've mentioned in the past, our idea is to bring a bit of the museum to you at home until such time as we can welcome you all back to the museum, hopefully later this year. Today, we are going to talk about one of our most exciting recent acquisitions. This is an absolute masterpiece, and it will come as no surprise to many of you that it is a gift from Drs. Itzok and Yolanta Malamed of Atlanta. The Malameds are among our most generous patrons and benefactors here at UMA. They have donated dozens of works of art with an especially strong focus on 19th century French Impressionism. And as a result of their unyielding generosity, we have works by many of the great Impressionist artists. This work, many of you might recognize as the hand of the great master Edgar Degas. Degas was one of the greatest of all the Impressionists. He was also a very close friend to Mary Cassatt, Mary Cassatt being one of only two women who, sir, who uh, acted as one of the principal uh, practitioners of Impressionism. Mary Cassatt was not only female, but also American and a really remarkably talented artist. She was one of the very few artists that Degas actually respected and liked. And the two, Degas and Cassatt, would often work together in concert. Uh, but normally Degas was noted as saying, when women paint, it looks like they're trimming hats, except for Mary Cassatt. So that's a, a great mark of respect. But this particular work um, is an especially important composition by Edgar Degas. It was drawn, we think, around 1882, which is eight years after the first major exhibition of Impressionism at Nadar's studio. And so the Impressionists are still, in the early 1880s, a somewhat um, independent, underappreciated group of artists, but they're beginning to gain support and encouragement. Again, this work we believe was drawn in 1882 is charcoal on paper. It is, we also believe, one of the early prototypes for a composition that Degas would utilize again and again. We believe this work was drawn from life with the model, and the work can be described as woman withdrawing from bath or woman drying her, her hands um, and her arms while withdrawing from the bath. Women were an especially strong subject for Degas, which he utilized again and again. But again, we believe the work drawn from life, retained by Degas for the rest of his life in his studio, and it was a composition that he would return to again and again when he wanted to create more complex versions of this composition with polychrome pastel. But again, this is exciting for us because as a teaching collection, we like to show works that actually reveal the working processes of artists like Edgar Degas. If you were to visit the museum, which we hope you do soon, um, in person, you would notice on the far left corner, there is the red estate stamp entitled Degas. And that means that this work was in Edgar Degas' studio at the time of his death in 1917. Again, because we think this was a very important prototype reference tool that he would use in the studio. When he died, there were a series of estate auctions in France, and this work was sold in 1919, I think around the second of the estate sales, and it was acquired by none other than Duran Ruel. Duran Ruel was one of those individuals I mentioned earlier who was a very, very early and very important supporter of the Impressionists. He was an art dealer who had a very good eye for seeing what others did not always see at first. And so he supported the Impressionists to great extremes for a number of years when they were not necessarily um, getting a lot of great sales. And he literally bought thousands of works by the Impressionists. And toward the end of his life, he saw great financial reward as a result of that forward-thinking optimism. So again, the work was acquired by Duran Ruel around 1919. By 1931, this drawing comes to the United States of America, and it was acquired by Joe Milziner. Joe Milziner would become one of the greatest stage and lighting designers of Broadway way in the 20th century. But he bought this work early on in his career in 1931 at the height of the Great Depression, which is quite interesting to think about doing something that avant-garde. And he would keep the drawing for the next 45 years of his life. The drawing survived two divorces and three marriages. And at the end of his life in 1976, the work was sold by his estate. Um, it changed hands a few more times. And in 2018, uh, Isaac and Yolanta Malamed acquired this work at auction. And then in more recent times, 
very generously donated this work to Oglethorpe University Museum of Art. So I cannot say enough to thank the Malamids for their unyielding generosity to UMA. Hope you've enjoyed seeing a little bit about upcoming um, acquisitions here at the museum. And I hope that you'll join us same time, same place next week, Tuesday at two, where museum director Elizabeth Peterson will discuss a wonderful 19th century Korean Tonga. Thank you.